Hello friends, welcome again to another session on circles and um, in the last few sessions we talked about lots of definitions, different parts of circle, different properties and uh, inside of the circle, outside of the circle, radius, diameter, chord, segment, secant and all that, right? Now, after learning all those definitions, we are going to talk about some theorems related to circles. So in this case, in this particular session, we are going to discuss about this theorem and it says if two arcs of a circle or of congruent circles are congruent, then corresponding chords are equal. So first we will lay emphasis on congruent, right? Two arcs are congruent. Now for that, we need to define something and that is two arcs are two arcs are congruent are congruent congruent if if their degree measure measure are equal okay so what is meant by degree measures guys so for example in this case if pq and rs both has to be of the same radius let's say r r okay so pq is congruent to rs if this angle poq is equal to r o dash s right so hence they are congruent if angle p o q is equal to angle r o dash s if that is the case radius is same then arc p q will be congruent to arc r s now these two arcs can be on the same circle as well so let's say this is p dash q dash if p dash q dash also has same degree measure that is this angle let's say if this is theta this is theta then we say p dash q dash and pq are congruent i hope you understood what congruent arcs are now so hence congruent arcs can be if you see within the same circle or with you know and in, in two circles but they used to use two these two circles must be congruent what are congruent circles two circles which can superpose on each other that means two circles which, which have same radii are called congruent circles okay now once that is clear now let's try to understand what this theorem is talking about it says that if pq pq is equal to rs okay if pq is equal to rs then chord pq that is this side pq is equal to chord rs that's what we have to prove okay let's try and prove so if you see proof will be something like this and very very simple in triangles o p q and triangle o dash r s we have o p is equal to o dash r y radii same radii isn't it radii are equal radii are equal correct similarly o q is equal to o dash s y same logic radii are equal and angle p o q is equal to angle p sorry r o dash s right because same degree measure same degree measure okay understood hence it you know it uh, indicates something what does it indicate indicates that triangle o p q is congruent to triangle o dash r s be very very careful with the order of vertices you have written why because otherwise congruence may not be established okay so o is equal to o dash clearly angle p is equal to angle r and angle q is equal to angle s so hence the order is correct so and what is the criteria here if you see this is side then angle then side so hence by s a s congruence criteria right this is what we learned in previous sessions as well so s a s congruence criteria therefore we can say p q is equal to r s and you know this you will write this multiple number of times cpct which is corresponding parts of sorry yeah corresponding parts of congruent triangles right so this is what we needed to establish isn't it so we had to establish that pq is equal to rs 
okay hence proved so two arcs uh, if two arcs of a circle are congruent then corresponding chords are equal and hence proudly right hence proved right okay so we'll take up another theorem in the next session hope you understood this theorem